There's a lawsuit against Skittles over concerns that a food coloring ingredient in the candy is unfit for human consumption. This class action lawsuit was just filed in California on July 14th, mainly because the food coloring ingredient in question called titanium dioxide is associated with DNA damage, cancers, and gut inflammation, and has already been banned in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and even France. Roll the clip. Uh, this Mars Inc, they're the ones who make it. They're being sued by this woman in California who claims that the colorant is dangerous. It's worth bearing in mind that um, it's considered a food coloring anyway. So it's, it's been light. It's a food coloring that you can use. Now, the European Union are banning it. So she's suing, saying, well, if they're banning it, it's probably bad for you. And there are some links to things like uh, its ability to change your DNA, which means X-Men's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's never superpowers. I can't, always... can't imagine that, that there'd be something that changes your DNA knocking about. I mean, that's just... A, <laughs> surely that's the stuff of science fiction, isn't it? Well, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Anyways, stick around and we'll go over what this harmful food ingredient called titanium dioxide really does to the body. We'll also go over a list of foods and items you absolutely need to avoid that have this ingredient in it. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell on the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Also, I have new YouTube memberships now that give you access to more content, so just click the join button above. Anyways, let's get into this. So to begin, let's go over the toxic ingredient in Skittles called titanium dioxide. We'll talk about what it is. So first things first, according to the US FDA, titanium dioxide is still considered fit for consumption. That just means the FDA is behind on this, clearly. So what is titanium dioxide? Well, according to TDMA, titanium dioxide is a bright white substance used primarily as a vivid colorant in a wide array of common products like food, paints, plastics, paper, and pharmaceuticals. So basically in food like Skittles, it enhances the vibrance of their colors. So the greens look greener and the reds look redder. But here's the problem with that. So according to a statement made by the European Food Safety Authority on May 6, 2022, taking into account all available scientific studies and data, the panel concluded that titanium dioxide can no longer be considered safe as a food additive. A critical element in reaching this conclusion is that we could not exclude genotoxicity concerns after consumption of titanium dioxide particles. After oral ingestion, the absorption of titanium dioxide particles is low. However, they can accumulate in the body. So basically what they're saying is according to certain studies, titanium dioxide acts as a carcinogen which wears down the immune system and important cells in the body. Well, when you wear those cells down and alter the immune function, it can lead to genotoxicity, which is almost always associated with cancer formation. So what studies are they referring to? Well, this one here posted in EFSA journal on March 25th of 2021 explains that, quote, based on all the evidence available, a concern for genotoxicity could not be ruled out. And given the many uncertainties, the panel concluded that E-171 can no longer be considered as safe when used as a food additive. So that's the first study saying this food could cause genotoxicity and thus cancer. However, if you noticed, they referred to titanium dioxide as E-171. As you can see, it goes by many names and we're going to go over all of those names later in this video, as well as a list of foods you absolutely need to avoid. Now, this next study named Impact of Food, the Food Additive Titanium Dioxide on Gut Microbiota dash host interaction examined titanium dioxide's effect on mice. Basically, researchers administered different amounts of titanium dioxide to mice 
through their drinking water. Researchers said, we found that titanium dioxide treatment could alter the release of bacterial metabolites in vivo and affect the spatial distribution of commensal bacteria in vitro by promoting biofilm formation, indicating that titanium dioxide significantly impacts gut homeostasis. So let me explain that. They're saying that when those mice were exposed to that titanium dioxide, those little bacteria in the gut started promoting the formation of what's called biofilm, which is something that hurts the immune system and prevents good bacteria in the gut from communicating with each other so they can fight off pathogens or diseases appropriately, among many things. So there you have some evidence to show that repeat exposure to titanium dioxide can actually weaken your immune function over time. So now what foods contain titanium dioxide and how do you spot it on a label? Well first, it's found in Skittles, M&Ms, Mentos, Kool-Aid Blue Raspberry, Betty Crocker Whipped Cream Frosting, all packaged and ready to make brownie, cake, and cookie mixes, Trident Gum, Carnation Instant Breakfast, Nestle Coffee Creamers, Hershey's Special Dark Chocolate, Jell-O Banana Pudding, Pop-Tarts, Hostess Powdered Donuts, and even mozzarella cheese. Also, it's found in all sunblock, Now, as far as avoiding products with titanium dioxide, you have to be able to spot it on a label. That said, before you purchase a product you feel may have this harmful ingredient, look on the package. And if it says titanium dioxide, E171, or added colors, don't buy it. Anyways, those are the facts. 